Thanks so much for joining us. Welcome to Fantastic Realm. I'm Yare, and this week on the show, we finally see the next issue of War Heroes. We've got a brand new book from Robert Kirkman and Todd McFarlane. It's called Horn, and we see Warren Ellis's take on the astonishing X-Men. All that and more on this week's Fantastic Realm. <laughs> I know you've probably forgotten all about this title, but here it is. Issue number three of War Heroes is finally on the shelves. It's been a year at least since issue number two came out. Mark Miller and Tony Harris's series has got a war theme with a sprinkling of superpowers, and this is top quality comic book action. There's great kind of witty dialogue in here. There's some amazing action scenes and a top cliffhanger. It's all beautifully coloured by J.D. Mettler as well. I just wish it hadn't taken them a year to get this next issue out. I hope it doesn't take as long to get issue number four out because it's very, very difficult to kind of keep locked into a series when it's this much delay between issues. Mark Miller, Tony Harris, Pay attention, please. Get issue number four out sooner. It's really good stuff and certainly worthy of you checking out. It's out this week, issue number three of War Hero. Of all of the books you may well see on your shelves, branded Justice something or the other, this has got to be the best. Justice League, Cry for Justice, issue number four. This has got to be the best Justice League themed book around at the moment. The art by Mauro Cascoli is just something beautiful to behold. And James Robinson weaves a really brilliant story that kind of takes you through all of these characters in a kind of a new way. I'm really enjoying this kind of incarnation of the Justice League. And we haven't even gotten to some of the heavy hitters like Superman and Wonder Woman haven't really appeared in this series too much yet. Um, you've got to check it out if you haven't already. Like I said, this is issue number four. It's on your shelves this week. <laughs> Among the other books that you may well want to check out this week is issue number five of the new Batman and Robin series. Batman and Robin continue to take on the Red Hood, but this issue focuses more on his sidekick, Scarlet. Also out this week, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, issue number 501. Matt Murdock is embracing the dark side as he takes on leadership of the hand, surely this is not something that Daredevil can ever recover from. Issue number two of the new Torch series is out this week. This is really good, sees Marvel mining its archive and bringing back characters of yesteryear. This time it's the original Human Torch and this series kind of puts him in a more modern context and is all the better for it. The Amazing Spider-Man number 608 is out this week and the complications in Peter Parker's personal life continue to pile up. Doom Patrol number three is out this week. I hadn't been a fan of Doom Patrol in that I totally missed it. It's one of those series that passed me by, but um, I'm really enjoying this series. It's only three issues in, and I can see why people really love them. Doctor Voodoo is a new series, again, that sees Marvel mining its archive. This time, they're bringing back Brother Voodoo in a new guise. Um, you have to be a fairly old Marvel fan to remember him and Deadpool issue number 16 is on the shelves this week too. This week we see Deadpool embracing his mutant gene and joining the X-Men. Enough said. This is Haunt issue number one. This is the series that brings together the talents of Robert Kirkman and Todd McFarlane and it's real interesting because this is a book that could that exactly seems to be halfway between each of their styles. There's lots of the kind of action and the gore that we expect from a Robert Kirkman book, and equally there are those spiritual afterlife types of themes that we expect from books like Spawn that Todd McFarlane has been responsible for. This is a great start to a new series. It looks great and there is enough intrigue in this first issue to make it worth hanging around to see where this one is going. Really enjoyed it. This is Haunt, issue number one, out this week on Image Comics. You Show. 
This is Criminal the Sinners, issue number one. This is described by some as the best crime comic book ever. And this series, The Sinners, does nothing to take away from that title. It's beautifully rendered, as we'd come to expect from Sean Phillips. And it's just full of intrigue and snappy dialogue, courtesy of Ed Brubaker. If you don't know about Criminal, this is a great point to jump on as it's the start of a new story arc under this title. And I can't recommend this book highly enough. Really enjoyed it this week. Criminal, The Sinners, issue number one, out now. Also out this week is issue number 35 of The Boys. More hardcore action in this one. Garth Ennis and Derek Robinson finally let us in on why they call him Mother's Milk. The Luke Cage Noir series continues this week with issue number three. For all fans of Jive Talk, you've got to pick this up. Back in the Marvel archive, we find this. Ex-babies, they are mining the depths or scraping the bottom of the barrel depending on your point of view, but it brings us a series about a bunch of equal baby X-Men. How cute. There's also another limited series out this week with this first in a two-part series that sees the X-Men versus the Agents of Atlas. Irredeemable continues this week. Mark Wade's series about a superhero gone bad hits issue number seven. The Ultimate Spider-Man series continues issue number three is out we find out more about what's going on with the human torch and spider-man takes on mysterio and the unrelenting justice league and magog continues his new solo series and the plot thickens in this one we're in Leicester Square in London. We've just seen the screening of the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. And I've got to say, this was a wonderful movie. Um, a lot of people are going to remember this movie as Heath Ledger's final movie, but I think it's worth pointing out that this is probably Terry Gilliam's finest work as a director. I really enjoyed the movie. It's a genuine fairy tale, a real morality tale, and well worth checking out. If you watch this blog, it's probably because you enjoy stories, and you should definitely check out out this movie. It's out in the UK on the 16th of October. It's the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. This week is your final opportunity to get involved in our first anniversary competition. All of those Wolverine covers and the Fantastic Realm variants are still up for grabs. The competition question will appear in the credits at the end of this show. Don't forget that you've got to be in it to win it. As a little teaser, next week we're also going to launch our next Fantastic Realm competition. It's all to do with the new book from Robert Kirkman and Todd McFarlane. We've got exclusive UK limited edition variant covers to give away for the first issue of Haunt. So make sure you join us next week. This is The Astonishing X-Men number 31. And if you haven't been following The Astonishing X-Men, this is a great time to join in. Warren Ellis is on the title, and this is such a beautifully realized book. Great dialogue, great action, great story points and detail that get you really kind of sucked into the story. And Warren Ellis leads you down one path only to kind of pull a little switcheroo on you right at the end of this book that makes you realize that this story arc isn't going in the direction you thought it was at all quality work and a little tip for marvel if you're going to reboot the x-men franchise on film anytime soon stick your hand in your pocket and get warren ellis to kind of work on it for you because this is as good an x-men book as i've read for ages astonishing x-men issue number 31 out this week that's pretty much all we've got time for this week on Fantastic Realm. Thank you so much for joining us. Let me just take this opportunity to remind you to keep supporting the people that allow us to bring you this show each week. We get our comics from Fantastic Realm. We get our t-shirts from Urban Species. Next week, we'll be launching a brand new competition and announcing the winners of our first anniversary competition. It's all happening. Make sure you're with us then.